see it after what he did. Well, I mean, that may be a little harsh. I'm not going to avoid Peter like the drunk chick at a party. I just smoked the wrong side of a cigarette. hasn't been easy. Between doing the laundry and vacuuming, I barely had time to put on a nice sweater and clasp a cup of tea with two hands. <sighs> and now to tie this sweater around my waist and walk around the neighborhood. Hang on, I'll be right back, Lois. I'm just going across the street. Peter, you can't keep using Cleveland's bathroom. Oh, my God. Yes, I can. Cleveland's bathroom is the greatest discovery since fat women discovered Diet Coke. Now I can eat anything! This is complicated, that's all. No, Brenda, it's not complicated. Trying to get a straight answer out of a 23-year-old girl is complicated. So do you want to go out sometime? Out like go out or hang out or just do something? Like a date. Like a date date or like a date? Both, I, I guess. Yeah, sure, maybe. I don't know. Yes, no. Here's the first three digits of my phone number. Email me. Boy, this is fun, eh? Except for the fact we got to sit next to that woman who came with her co-workers. Huh, aren't we all pals? I work at the office. This is empowering. Maybe I'll get a dance, huh? You guys are probably going to be talking about this forever. A woman who's so cool with all of this? Jackpot! Well, it's probably the right move anyway. Those girls seem kind of annoying. Look at them over there, taking a group picture together. I love you! I love you! We're all such good friends. You can tell by the way we're pressing our faces together. And that's where fat girls come from. So, we were supposed to go to the library to wipe boogers in fancy books. I like to wipe mine in Bronte novels. It's like a time bomb to gross out lonely chicks. Oh, Heathcliff. Oh, come on! I want so little! Oh, wow, you are definitely not afraid of dessert. You know, I wish I were secure enough to throw on any old thing and call it an outfit. Come on, you have so much body confidence. I mean, who wouldn't with those strong legs? So muscular. Hey, I like your tie. Thanks. Friends, we know how to be friends. Peter, why don't you just sit in that booth over there? Oh, man, that's where the after-work secretaries sit. What about Mr. Jemerson? Is he single? I, I, I don't know. What about Mr. Adelaide? Is he single? I don't know who that is. Well, who do you know who is single? Uh, I'm assuming you. Oh, oh hey, look, cake. Uh, excuse me, can I get directions to the Providence Civic Center? <coughs> do you like cake? Yes. Do you like my ass? Yes. Do you want to eat cake off my ass? What kind of cake? Angel food cake. Well, Rusty, looks like we're gonna eat our way out of another jam. I gotta know if we should take 24 or 495. Hang on. Exit's coming up. Half a mile. <laughs> You'd think I could find it. Yeah, yeah, I would. I would. Okay, I'm taking 495. Here it is. It says take 24 to 128. Women, we have spent decades fighting for our right to vote. So when you go to those booths and cast your ballot, remember, Warren G. Harding is way the cutest! <laughs> And then we have a chocolate chocolate cake that's infused with chocolate, served with chocolate ice cream and a molten chocolate topping. We'll have one of those with four spoons. More like four of those with one spoon for me. <laughs> oh, can I just try a little sample? Oh, I'm so bad. Uh, sure. You gonna buy a cookie this time? Oh, I better just stick with the sample. I'm so bad. But at least I know I'm bad, so that makes me a little less bad. Or worse. That was the right thing to do, Peter. Hey, Tyler, are you on your way to algebra? Yeah, I'll see you there. <laughs> You're awful! The preceding joke was brought to you by men. Men! We don't know what we did. 9-11 changed everything, Brian. 9-11 changed everything. Peter, you didn't even know what 9-11 was until 2004. That's not true, Brian. I remember 9-11. <laughs> Must have been a woman pilot, eh? Come on, guys. We don't have to make such a big thing about it. It's not like I'm a woman who's about to turn 30.
You guys, I don't care what we do for my birthday, as long as it lasts the whole week and it's very expensive and inconvenient for all my friends. Oh, and I'm gonna dress like a slut and be rude to everyone for no reason. But, Maya... I don't care that your dad's dying. We're all going to Montreal for the week. Not like 37-year-old woman on a blind date fund. Oh, so what if you forgot your wallet? I'll pay. I'm gonna pay for us. You'll get it next time, yeah. So you were in prison, right? Killed a man? Oh, I'm sure it was in self-defense. No. I just felt like killing. Ah! Uh, oh, you tell the best stories. Me and my three eggs are having the best time. Okay, so I know you're a harmonica, but right now you're a 40-year-old woman with a good body in a hotel pool. Hey, everybody, look at me. I work out seven days a week for these five minutes. Your attention is going to keep me from swallowing a bottle of pills. You listen to me, you son of a bitch. I've got one thing in this lifetime. One thing! <laughs> you always say I never do anything around here. Yeah, I like saying that more than I like you doing things. Dad, I got the rest from the car. We're... Chris, run! You were right. She didn't appreciate it. Oh, crap. Ow! That's right. I do groceries. Yeah, Mom, you get crazy when you're pregnant. <laughs> Ugh! <laughs>